Okay. And the current day is uh, your meeting agenda. So okay, twenty one. This will be sixteen. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's uh, get started with the first meeting agenda. Okay. And that will be thank you, personal and business best. Okay. So uh, what should I call you? <laughs> what name should I call you? Daddy Do. Daddy Do? <laughs> yes, Daddy Do. <laughs> okay, Daddy Do. Uh, the uh, personal and business best. Uh, please tell us uh, during the last week what is uh, something good, whether it's personal or uh, business or work related. Okay, uh, actually I don't get about the personal base, about the photo compliance. Mm -hmm. well, at least that uh, I just learned about how to use Camembe to automate the process. It is my, okay. I think that is just one for personal base. Okay. But for business What's base, the business one? <laughs> I think that okay. uh, the photo compliance, it is like for uh, can you repeat? Your voice was gone. Uh, one step, uh, one step uh, on the way to KYC service. Oh, now you're okay. mm. Because nowadays, I just see that a lot of apps, there is a human test. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. And because last time, I just get noticed that uh, in US, there is a KYC uh, service, so I think that <laughs> mm -hmm. it is possible that we can provide KYC in Indonesia. Okay, you. What do you mean by KYC service? Is that uh, like a a company that uh, the business is just providing the KYC service to other businesses? Yes. yes. Okay. So we can re replace the mm. manual task and task, I think. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, so that will be like automated KYC service, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Anything else? Okay. For for now, it's you know. Okay. For me, uh, the good news for me in a business space is that uh, we just got the AWS credits, uh, three thousand dollars. So that will be. Uh, one year's worth of uh, hosting costs, so I think uh, I'm happy with it. <laughs> oh, so what? What do you mean? I mean that you have new resource in uh, cloud. It's not really new resource, uh, but usually we pay the AWS provider by ourselves. But now uh, AWS uh, provides credits, uh, three thousand uh, dollars. It's actually can be used for two years, but I think we will spend two thousand dollars in uh, one year, so mm. at least we don't have to spend for cloud services uh, okay. during the next one year. So I'm okay. pretty happy with that. Me too. <laughs> All right. Okay. So thank you. That's the thank you. And mm. the next part is a scorecard review, but I think you have not. Uh, uh, you don't have a scorecard yet. So we can skip yeah. this. Now we are going to rock review. Uh, that is a photo compliance workflow. And in this part of the agenda, it's usually just, um, well, whether it is on track or not on track. So what do you think about the photo compliance workflow? Uh, the deadline is uh, June 30, right? Do you think okay. the current progress it is on track or off track or warning? Okay. Uh, for now, I just estimate that I can do the simple pros workflow process. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that uh, I just uh, need time to learn a Camunda. Mm -hmm. Last time, I just tried to use like a uh, Camunda modeler, mm -hmm. but it is like I have to code in order to make the model is working <laughs> okay so i think uh, i need that 
uh, how modeler works in the simple manner. So I and then I I will create the business model from it. Okay. So actually, I just try to uh, write down the everything that uh, I know that I can implement. Mm -hmm. So actually, that is the process from but i have experienced before in my office right so during uh, working from working from home mm. we 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 did like a uh, photo club compliance for uh, pre, uh what is for presents mm. so it is like we have to do every day we have to take a look at slack and then we have to to do uh, post like on Slack. So everything mm -hmm. is defined on Slack. So it is like a warranty that nobody can take a picture at the one time for 30 days or 60 days. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody can take a picture for 30 yes. days? Yes, because it is like, it is uh, for proof that today we started working at home. Okay. You know what? So um, the 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 method is like in our photo we have to use like timestamp mm -hmm. and we have to include uh, GPS location mm -hmm. and then at the same time we have to do a post or gesture that stayed mm -hmm. on the on like on that oh. yeah that's true that's true and then uh, yeah that's so, post detection mm -hmm. so, so every day is repeated. Mm, okay yeah so, so I just uh, you mean every there. working day right yes correct mm, okay okay so uh so uh, you are already doing it every day yes or, okay right then uh, last time i just see that uh, this opportunity is good as long as i just learn about the api economy so mm -hmm. I think uh, it's better if we try to provide a service, at least um, minimum viable product mm -hmm. for this service. And mm -hmm. I also searching on the internet and there there is like a use case mm -hmm. for uh, US passport or immigration service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They 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 still doing like manual, but it is like they have uh like rules mm -hmm. on their 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 method. Mm -hmm. And then also there is like uh example in uh, real estate. Mm -hmm. So in some uh, website, you know that uh we have to upload the photo of our house or maybe. Mm -hmm another friend's house mm -hmm. but uh, the photo should be clean mm -hmm. there is no human there is no anything ac human activity and mm -hmm. it should be like uh, follow the standard mm -hmm. I'm impressed because i just search but based on the keywords for mm -hmm. the combine co so i think it, it, it is uh respectful oh. it, it, that's my um my study in order i got uh, motivation <laughs> okay so do you plan to uh, create a company to provide kyc services uh, i don't know about the company but at least i can just starting uh, make a service by using camuda that's that's my basic mm. uh, goal for now okay that's good so okay. for this meeting you just write on the agenda whether that rock is on track or off track or okay working. uh I have a question. Is there any like example uh, how to use uh, Kamuda in the YouTube? I mean that in Lovia. I mean a specific. Uh, actually, there are several uh, videos that we have uh, yes. that shows uh, some Kamuda workflows. But uh, perhaps uh, we will discuss it uh, later today. Okay. okay. So uh, just write the on track or off track for the rock review. With 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 video, yeah. So that's basically saying it is on track or off track. Okay. 
Okay. All right. That's good. So uh, we are done with the rock review. I think that was 1609. Finish at 1616. Now the next part is uh, customer and team member headlines. I think uh, you have shown before that KYC is a, is a lot of use cases, right? Uh, including uh, work from home, uh, verification, and real estate, okay? And so on, yeah? Okay. Is that true? Yes. And let's go to to-do list. So to-do list is basically reviewing whether uh, you have done the to-dos in the previous week. So I think you had two to-dos, right? Complete okay. the project spec and make a draft. Okay, uh, um, should I just uh, follow the use case from Miller product or I can define myself about the spec? Because um, I mean, okay. the in general spec, uh, we can we can discuss we can discuss okay. because uh, I also have a requirements right so if you want to uh, show your end requirement then we can discuss uh, which one uh, that we will decide to work on okay but okay but before we discuss the issues because the discussion of the issues will be on uh, issues list below. Uh, for the two to-dos, do you think uh, they are done or not yet done? For those two, the project spec and the draft PPM and workflow. So this is- So just type it? Huh? Just type? Or just uh, leave it? Uh, if it's done, then you can check, but if not done, okay. then- uh, well, So not yet. Just so for now, for today, it's not yet done. Not yet. done for both. Okay, so we can leave it and then we can go to the next part. Okay, the next part, uh, seven days calendar review. But actually, uh, what I want to ask is that what are the issues uh, when it's done? So that means that you have issues, right? So please write the issues that you want to discuss on point seven. You can write them now if you have the things that you want to discuss. Okay. Uh, I think that's it's you're already right uh, right. Okay. It's correct. I mean the review project spec because I just confusing mm -hmm. whether is the um the what the compliance would be follow the uh me loop or mm -hmm. I can generate a basic or sp a specific uh case. Okay. All right. So about seven days ahead, calendar review. I think we can skip this because we do not have events, just rocks and uh, to-dos. Right. Okay. So let's go to the issues list. Uh, we have two issues here. Which one that you want to discuss first? Okay. Uh, maybe a review project spec. Review project spec. Okay. So let's open the project spec and we can discuss. 6019. Okay. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so tell me what you think about it and what you want my opinion about. Mm. I think the uh, the small thing or small goal that I I can imagine is like the target is we uh, our apps can mm -hmm. make sure mm -hmm. that uh, they upload their own photo. Okay, that's true. Yes, yes. The, the the ultimate goal is true. Make sure the photos are from real user. That's the ultimate yes. goal. But how we achieve that goal? Uh, there are some techniques to be done, right? Yeah. Yes. But that's true. The problem statement is correct. I agree with that. And then the proposed work, it is like we have 
to uh, like predefined photos or cartoon that is catalog mm -hmm. we have a lot of catalog and we will generate like uh, we will uh, randomly uh, display the oh, catalog so. mm -hmm. and the uh, user should follow that catalog post okay okay so this is uh, more about uh, post verification, right? What? So this is post verification. Yes, correct. Yes. I would say that uh, generally this will be uh, post verification method there. Okay. So because uh, there are others, so I would say that uh, Mm, okay, but then the alternative poses. Mm, one is that, two is that cartoon uh, verification. Uh, cartoon brightness, not brightness, grayscale, face detection method. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, let's do the first one first. This is a uh, currently work on my Anki. Okay, now I would say that uh, for the post verification method, we don't have yet a an algorithm for that but if you want to make a workflow with it uh, uh, it can be done okay it can be done as long as then uh, you can find a library for it but the other method would be to uh, use a uh, cartoon grayscale and face detection method that Anki is uh, currently working on and is actually uh, already working it's it's actually already working mm -hmm. uh, so it basically detects whether the photo is cartoon or not cartoon and it detects whether the photo is too gray if too gray that means uh, the photo is not good because we want to have color photos and mm -hmm. also faces detection so basically the photo needs to have at least one face or maybe exactly one face okay mm -hmm. so if there are no faces detection then that means the photo is rejected right uh, this is I, I would say that this is like the the basic level of uh, photo compliance because um, before we have a pose if there is no person in that photo then yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is nothing yeah. to verify in the post right so yes. the one is that but basically we have uh, two methods uh, that we can use and uh, the one that Anki has developed is um, uh, it can be used okay it can be used but the post verification i uh, don't have yet the library but you can use it if you have if you can find a library to do this i think i think there should be a, i think there should should be a library on the open source library that you can use to to detect the post okay so on the proposed word, uh, do you think you are you agree with it? I, I would say that this one is actually the level of one, uh, the base level, and that that will be level two. I would say that uh, level one. But but you can do uh, either, yeah. You can do either. It's just to make the project specification clearer of. Uh, the kind of levels that we use. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't think that uh, mm -hmm. for post verification method we have to check whether it is cartoon or not, grayscale or mm -hmm. not, because as long as the the post is si almost similar, I don't mm -hmm. know how many almost similar, mm -hmm. but it's like it should be real user, right? Yeah, I mean, that's the, true. That's true. You, you know that it's so difficult to find the internet, right? Even that yeah. we just 
search the cartoon and mm -hmm. I mean that search okay. on the Google by image. I think it's very difficult. Okay. But uh, let's see. Uh, I I just think uh, I I don't think about the other possibilities. Mm. But mm. I think know that cartoon grayscale and face is oh okay. Okay, so this is more about account verification, and this is more about uh, uh, compliance of individual photos. Yeah. Okay, so I think uh, they have like different purpose. Okay, so so the post verification is more about account verification, right? From yes. a real user, but the photo itself uh, will never be used. The photo will never be posted uh, on the account because that's like mm -hmm. just administrative uh, data, right? But okay. The, the cartoon grayscale and face detection method are not for the account verification, but it's more for the compliance of individual photos. For example, when oh. the user uploads uh, the photo and uh, they want the photo to be their profile photo or something yeah. like that, now that photo needs to pass a uh, certain uh, criteria. For example, if the user wants to, for, okay, so we already verified that the user is a u real user, but then the user uploads a profile photo and the profile photo is a photo of a laptop that's that's not uh, that is not acceptable okay so the profile photo must be a photo that has a face and it's it has good color maybe something like that so i would say that uh they have different purpose can you okay. With this one? Okay. okay so we can uh focus on the post verification method first if that's what you want to do first that's okay but at least now the project spec is clear that uh, we can have two methods with different purpose, right? Okay. Okay. So let's go to the success criteria. With exposed, with exposed gesture on the face. Uh, you mean uh, finger or hand gesture? Yes. Mm. Okay. Maybe we have like create uh, our catalog. I think this one is uh, uh, annotated. I would say that the collection is not just a uh, photos cartoon, but uh, the more important would be annotated uh coordinates yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. Metal data. because uh what the system wants are actually just the coordinates right the the photo are, and cartoon are, are just illustration for the user but the yeah, system yeah. does not need the photo itself right the example yeah, yeah? the example yeah. you mean the example right yes example or a reference yeah? or reference photos with coordinates metadata with finger hand gestures on the face photo generated from users must contain timestamp okay and uh and hopefully for gps yeah if possible uh if possible and if you can master collection photos uploaded to get the timestamp it's close all right um can categorize it's verified. Okay, I will I will agree with this one. This one is the most verification method. Okay, so just just to make this clear. Okay, I agree with the success criteria. Very excellent work. Thank you. Okay, so we move on to the next. Yeah, next one, stories. stories, okay. Actually, because I I still confused about the mm -hmm. scope of project. I mean, the mm -hmm. should uh, it is like aligned with the uh, middle mm -hmm. business case or mm -hmm. general case? I, I would say yeah. I would say that uh, in this case that my 
of course, this is my my uh, the thing that I want is that this is usable by Miluf for the Miluf app and for the user stories, I would say the generally what's needed now is that when we have a new user or existing user that is not yet verified by yes. other means, other means mean like uh, ID card verification, okay? ID card verification or yeah, or this one, post verification method. Then that means the things that user can do in the system will be limited or restricted because we cannot yet trust the user. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I would say that how many types of users? Mm, I would say that there is just one type, eh? new user and active user. Yes, is that? Because mm -hmm. I think it is like just uh, one type that is registered users mm -hmm. because um, based on my experience, it's different with uh, financial service, right? Yeah, that's right. Like, right. Because last time I just tried to use PayPal and there is nothing to do with PayPal, so PayPal always ask me and notify me when you uh, upload or verify it or something, so that it's a proof that you need a PayPal. If not, we will delete your account. <laughs> mm. I think PayPal it's, ask ask for like a government ID document, right? Uh, no, it, no, that is for just only for payment. Last time mm. I just registered with PayPal, mm. and I'm not yet they link my card. So that mm. that app, mm. so people finally decide to uh, disable or remove my account. Okay, so their verification is actually like credit card or banking account verification. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. So it is like if somebody is just only registered, nothing to do. It is like it will abuse or to do something bad with their system. Mm. Okay. So, uh, but. Uh, because you know that uh, I don't know the story about the meal of apps and uh, mm -hmm. what expected with meal of apps. So I still um, confused about the uh, what is that um, the the concern of the photo, you know. Okay, so I would say that um, there's just one type. I would say. Uh, and that will be like registered user. And uh, yes, with without the uh, post verification. Okay. Okay, that will be registered user without post verification. And I will tell you a bit about the Miluf app uh, purpose. So when user registers, user can uh, upload his photo, user can uh, fill specific information about his or her profile. And some of the information will be public and some of the information will be uh, private only for administrative process. And some of the information will be uh, selectively uh, given to other members if the user allows it. Okay, so for example, user uh, wants to connect to another member, for example, to uh, make a new friend or to pursue a love relationship. Okay, so Miluf is a counseling service for users who want to have a love relationship, yeah, to have a love relationship or to find a wife or to find a husband. And um, our problem is that uh, this is so, uh, most of the users are not paid, and that's not really a problem. The the problem is that for those users uh, that are not paid, then we cannot yet verify their identity and cannot yet verify uh, whether they are honest. Okay, and they are using the application 
as intended okay whether they comply with our policies or not so if we can uh, apply whether post verification or the uh, photo gray scale and so on that will reduce the amount of fraud and users that are not using uh, the application compliant with our policies so i would say that post verification so uh, if i think about it from a convenience perspective of course the uh, the automated uh, grayscale and face detection is more convenient for the user right because the user does not have to do anything specifically they just upload their photos as usual and then the system will detect but it cannot it cannot detect fake user now post verification is more um, uh, it requires more effort on the user right because then the yes. user needs to like okay so what's this post and then he does like this and so on okay yes. but uh, then we have like I would say 100% uh, confidence that the user is real 100% right? confidence that uh, the user is real and I would say that this is very good if uh, you can imply the post verification method because that will dramatically reduce the cases of fraud and uh, bad things in the system okay even if uh, they are not paying but they complete the verification then that means uh, the user is a real user so i would say that's good okay so my question is uh, is the uh, for the compliance is just only uh, for use case users upload their photo when they register on the apps or another uh, use case is there any other use case mm, no this is just for uh, registration okay okay so registration so this will apply for new users and for existing users because well all of the existing users especially the free ones uh, okay. for the paid ones there is uh, a bit of trust because the paid ones then that means we have verification uh, verified their payment we have verified their um, uh, uh, bank account information and so on okay okay so yeah this is uh, for uh, account verification purpose okay so maybe you think there are other use cases like uh, work from home verification or something okay what what do you think uh, there are other use cases than than registration uh i just read that from the uh, property industry like mm. it is like uh the system should be verified every mm. uploaded photo on their mm. system mm. so i don't think that is there any use case kind of like that or just only for register i think yeah I think it's uh, simpler. Yeah, for me, love uh, only this. Maybe oh. uh, because Lovia has other brands, right? Uh, there will be definitely other conf computer vision related tasks in the future. But for now, this is uh, like the most important, and uh, this will be very useful if you can get it to production and really working. Okay. okay. Uh, and is there any like uh, playground uh, mm -hmm. in the system like working system or uh, POC using tensor for something? I mean that because it is like I have to do like tremendous effort to learn. <laughs> I mean, that, is there any working system <laughs> that I can learn first? I mean, okay. for okay. Right, so I think I would uh, put that on your issues list because that's another issue. What do you mean? Yes, because uh, I want to get um, mm -hmm. my learning step, you know? Okay. Because I want to cut uh, it because I think if play, I don't have friends to guide me, <laughs> okay. I will play ground for TensorFlow. At least, no, at, at least for make a simple AI for that kind of. Uh, okay for um okay for simple ai for post detection yes. yeah yes correct for post detection 
Just minimal, minimal Say. basic, basic work. Okay, maybe we can try something else later. But okay, I've put that on the issues. But let's uh, let's do the uh, Kamunda. Uh, let's complete the project spec first, and then the Kamunda workflow, so okay. that we know how it's done. Okay. Okay. Because uh, I think when we are using like a, a BPMN approach, that is more like a top-down approach, right? So we like we start from the business case, yes. and then we break down each of the technical oh. tasks that yes, are needed, yes. right? <laughs> Correct. So yeah. So don't worry. So uh, if we are using that perspective, that means yes. the technical task of the AI can actually be, you know, like a, it can be like a prototype of of just a simple one that can later be replaced or improved by a dedicated AI engineer. Okay. Yes, correct. But yes. the whole when we talk about the workflow, that means the whole end-to-end -end process from the user. Uh, opens the UI and then the user yes. can take the photo and then uh, send the photo to the server and then the server processes it or saves the database and then um, and then integrating with the system to update the status of the user from not verified to verified or to rejected and send a notification to admin that this user has performed verification and the status whether that Verification is uh, correct, valid, or rejected, and also giving notification to the user use, using UI that okay, your uh, your photo has been accepted, or that the photo has been rejected, and the user needs to do it all over again, and then move yes. on to the next step. So I would say that in the perspective of the workflow or business perspective, then that's uh, the most important, and okay. the AI task. It's like uh, just a part of the whole okay. workflow that we can start from the very simple one. Okay, I would say the very simple one is face detection. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> face detection would be, I think you, you can you can get it then like uh, in 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 one week. That is very good. It's like just an example one. So uh, just to make it uh, easier, and yes. you can use that. As an example, okay, uh, to integrate with the uh, with the PPM and workflow, okay, I would say that's like the fallback. Yeah, if we cannot find an easy to use post detection um, library that is open source, and they have a trained model that we can use, then that means uh, fallback would be to use uh, face detection. So face detection is is easier. Okay, face detection is it, and actually already already proven to work yeah, by Anki. Okay, all right. So requirements first is form for photo upload. I would say that this form would be. So you want this to be in React Native or React on the web? Uh. <laughs> Because I'm new in React Native, but uh, I just study by myself. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I just study React Native. It's okay. Okay. But uh, yeah. you know, that I'm a little bit confused about the variant of the React mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's like the React Zoo is very big. But I think mm -hmm. I decided that um, maybe I can just use. Uh, as a basic React component, or maybe like I yeah. using form, maybe. Yeah, uh, there is a, which one is the, wait, wait, I think it's React Native Camera. Yeah, it's React Native Camera that you can use. This, this is a component that you can use. And uh, good news is I already use this component. Uh, okay. So yeah, like native camera. Okay, and, and mobile RN. Okay. Yeah. And actually for React Native Camera, I've uh, I've dived 
like uh, in the hardcore coding there want to make a pull request in there but basically for just uh, getting a photo to be uploaded uh, you can use this and then I would say that the photo needs to be sent to a service okay uh, okay here my yeah. question is so mm. the photo uploaded it is like fresh photo or not uh, fresh fresh photo or fresh face photo yes I mean fresh is like taken by camera at the time mm. or we can select from gallery no I would problem. say that I would say that this in in real production this should be like a real uh, camera so user should not be allowed to use the gallery to do this mm, okay and but with react native camera component that that will be the easy part but to test the component itself to test the microservice of course it's uh, it's easier to if you have a collection of photos that you can just send using postman or something okay 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 service generated i'm not sure if this is like a surface generated random poses i would say that function maybe um, function uh, i would say that it does not have to be like uh, random generated yeah as long okay. as uh, handy things it can be a collection doesn't have to be to be really random uh, automatically generated because I would say that like random is like if you want to have like uh, millions of combinations but in this case I would say like 100 poses are enough okay or maybe just 50 poses 20, yeah maybe 30 <laughs> yeah 30 is, is enough because I would say that a uh, user will not go like that far to have a uh, poses that are easily and uh, and so on so uh, even just a limited number of poses is, i would say is quite important. of course the more number of poses available in this system is more secure but i would say that this is not like a security uh, feature or something it's uh, more like a real user verification okay so just to make sure that you don't spend too much time uh, making a surface to generate random poses if you can like uh, make them uh, just a collection that are manually generated it's also okay okay and AI engine to match with photo yeah that's true and I would say the natural service to use uh, the AI engine engine input is uh, photo and metadata okay mm -hmm. format plus some metadata and then output is JSON uh, result okay mm -hmm. I would say for this one, this would be uh, actually this is not um, okay. I would say this this is for testing. Okay, and the uh, grids with Kamunda. Okay, start the process or sends message to come on there. All right. Okay. That will be it. And oh yeah. Mm, if no JS, then use Fastify. If Python, then use Fast API. Right. What is this? Uh, it's just a microservice framework. Mm. 
Okay. Or you use Java? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I will check. <laughs> I think that uh, for AI purpose, yes. um, the easiest one will be to use Python. Okay. Okay. Uh, give our AI integrated with AI libraries. I think our Python is easiest. Okay. Okay. Using, so, uh, open CV and okay. okay. So, the goal of this uh, uh, project, it mm. will deploy this on the local computer? No, it should run on the server. Should run on the, on server. the server, right? Yeah. Okay. So, React Native Camera is embedded on the app. User okay. takes photo, and then the app then sends that photo with the metadata to the server. And then the server uh, does the processing, and then from that processing, the user will uh, send send the result to Kamunda, and then Kamunda decides uh, what to do next. Okay. Uh, and okay, say, and then we can extend this work. To the formal document. What do you mean formal document? Maybe a formal document is like uh, ID card. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So actually, the the KTP part is already work in progress here. Yeah. Oh, good, good. If you want to see it, it's already in uh, in YouTube. Uh, let me check. And GitHub. And uh, love your team YouTube. Let me okay. check. Okay. KTP done by Firhan. Oh, thank you. And, yeah. Oh, I think I should put that as a embed there. Okay, that's one way to do it. Hmm? All right. See? That's for the KDB part. And to create simple KYC services. All right. I hope you can do it. Let's finish this and. Okay. If you can make a startup or a company, <laughs> that does this? Yeah, I, I think I think that's uh, quite interesting. Yeah, I think that's quite interesting, especially because of the new normal. Yeah, because of yes. the new normal, then such services will be required by uh, a lot of companies. Yeah, mm. as you see, uh, because of of COVID, a lot of businesses are going down. But yeah. a lot of businesses are, you know, they, they have more revenue. Like Azure, Zoom. they have like 700% increase in usage. Yeah, Zoom also and, and so on. And I would say that KYC services uh, is one of the businesses that will be needed a lot in the coming years. I mean. Okay, so if you can launch that company sooner, that will be good. <laughs> Right. Uh, what's next? Non requirements, designs. Okay. Okay. That's the project spec. I would say that's good. And I think you can go to agenda and mark that as okay. done. What do you mean, non requirements? Uh, non requirements. What I mean, what it, it is about? Yeah, <laughs> non requirements is basically things that are maybe you ask. So, do we want to handle like when user uh, does not upload a person or something, or whether do we need to handle format in PNG, PMP, and so on? Uh, mm -hmm. And you can better, see. Uh, okay, only support JPEG, not other formats. Okay, so that will make it. 
uh, easier, right? So we have some assumptions. Yeah, I would say that non-requirements are assumptions. Okay. okay. Assumptions. Okay. And designs, I would say that the designs would be the Camunda PPM and workflow. Okay. And okay, I would say that for the project spec, it's good and excellent work on that. So you can go to the agenda and and mark this as done. So next meeting, next Thursday? Hmm? Next meeting. Uh, no, I mean the, the agenda first. Okay. We have not yet finished the meeting, right? Because there are okay. other issues to be discussed. We are still on issue number one. So let's go to the calendar and the meeting agenda. So how we do this is that we prioritize issues and then discuss issues one by one until yeah until time runs out. Okay, so loading. Corey. Okay, so I think that means that you have done the project spec and you can check the to do on the project spec and also check the issues on the review project spec. All right. Okay. okay, so for the next issues, which one that you want to prioritize first? Can you repeat again? Your voice uh, was out. Uh, next step, I think I need to review about community BBM and workflow. Okay. The compliance. So yes. have you uh, drawn it? Let's open the community BBM and workflow diagram. Wait. Kamunda, is it this, 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 this? Wait, Kamunda. <laughs> is, can you see my screen? Uh, no, I think you need to share the screen. You share with me? Uh, no, because you are just sharing like one window. So if you so what you windows, see right? Yeah, you need you need to share the screen. New new share, right? Eh? Yeah, you uh, you new share. This is. Can you see this? <laughs> okay, now I can I can see it. Okay, actually I just tried to follow the tutorial because I want to get the motivation how to use this. All right. But uh, I think this step is like, I still to do like small coding mm -hmm. using Node.js or Java. So mm -hmm. I'm not yet implement, mm -hmm. but I will try. I will try. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one is for payment. Uh, I would say uh, let, let's try to create a rough workflow on the photo compliance. Okay. Okay, just so you know that how this would uh, look like, yeah, roughly. Okay. Oh, draw right now? Yeah, sure. This will, let's hope this takes a uh, Right. Uh, you should write a new, create a new drawing. Hmm? Oh, new. Okay. You want, or you want to uh, do it some other time? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Which one? Okay, may, maybe. This is right? Yep. Sure. Okay. So mm -hmm. the first one would be that um, you display the 
platform ya yeah. display the display the camera UI for the diagram oke okay. uh, display the display the camera UI for post verification yeah. it's 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 a form but it's a, it's a camera So this is actually the in important part of uh, BPM and workflow diagram is to get clear tasks, yeah. Because the the first uh, purpose of the BPM and diagram is to make it clear to all of the team members what it should be doing. Okay, what it should okay, be. Okay, so which one is correct? Get camera. I would say that's not get camera. So it should be display camera UI to the user. Okay. Right. Okay. And the next step would be user takes photo. Oh no. Display camera UI with uh the given pose, yeah, with the given pose. With the expected pose, with the expected pose. Mm. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. It's okay, so Now we have a live BPM and workshop now. Okay. Uh, display camera with. Post. Yeah, with expected posts, because you tell the user to post like this, right? Okay. Okay. All right, and then after that, the next step would be user takes photo. Okay, maybe it's uh, the same block. It's okay. <laughs> hmm, the same block. Yes, I mean the same append test. I mean. <laughs> yeah, same append test. Okay, this uh -huh. takes water. All right. This takes water. Okay, and then uh, sends app sends photo to server. App sends photo to microservice. Yeah. I would say that this should be like app sends photo to S3, to A AWS S3. Yeah. App sends photo to AWS S3. This AWS. Space S3. AWS space S3. Okay. I think that should be like upload there. Yeah. Uploads photo. And uploads photo. Okay. And then the next part would be that. Uh, okay. Right, and then the next part would be uh, check photo compliance. Yeah. Check photo compliance. All right. Okay, now because this result is uh, will be different, right? Sometimes it's good compliance, sometimes it's bad compliance. So the next step would be a gateway, an exclusive gateway. Yeah. It is? Yeah. Okay. okay. So you can put the name there, like uh, the name will be the, the variable compliance result or something like that, or matching. Yeah, okay. Uh, compliance. Okay. or maybe confidence okay. uh, yeah and then uh, I think you should end this with the question mark okay question mark on the gateway this is actually a good way to discuss yeah a good way to discuss the process before the actual AI algorithm and so on it's like just discussing the what is the good variable name for this one is it compliance is it confidence is it Uh, probability 
Okay. Okay. So what next? What what next? Okay. I put the question mark first because uh, to make it clear. Okay. Put the question mark in the name. Okay. Compliance. All right. Okay. Well, actually, no need for the parenthesis. Just question mark. Okay. 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 Yeah. Then, it's more like okay. asking yeah. because the okay. next. The next one, we have two branches. Okay, let's create the first branch. The first branch would be, I think this will be like a number, right? So this will be, uh, okay. Uh, it's a, just a task, just a real, just a usual task. Okay, so this one will be the compliant one. So uh, if it's compliant, then we need to update the database, right? Okay, so update uh, user database. Uh, what is the right wording? Uh, maybe mark mark user as photo verified. Mark user as photo verified. Mark user as photo verified in database. Yeah. Okay, and after we mark the user as photo verified, then that means the next step would be that we need to uh, notify user that uh, photo has been accepted there. Yeah. Okay. That verification is successful. Uh. Then it should be like a single block. I mean that we have to create this one, copy. This is, uh, sorry, I mean, notification is join or just individual? No, 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 not join, just individual. Individual? Individual, yeah. Of course, you can make it parallel, but I don't want to complicate yeah. the diagram at this point. Just make it uh, simple and easy to understand. Notify. Notify user that verification is successful. Okay. And after this will be the end. It's done, right? It's the... Okay. This will be the end. Okay. And it's a good practice to label the end event. The end event is verification successful. All right. Okay. So that's still the first uh, path for if it's compliant. And okay. we should make another one from the gateway when it's not compliant. Okay. So now I would say that we should still lock this. So um, insert verification attempt in database. Okay. So we know if, if user does it like 10, 000, 10 times and it's always failing. So I think this user has a bad intention. Yeah. Okay. Insert, uh, attempt? Uh, verification. Verification attempt in database. Verification attempt in database. Okay, and then the next step would be notify user that please try again, yeah. Notify user, please try again. Notify users? Next. Yeah, please try again. I think that should be just one, yeah? notify user, because uh, this is just one user that we are dealing with at this point. Yeah, the box above also just one user, not many. Okay, and I would say that the block for mark user as photo verified, that should be just mark without uh, ED, because this is like an active 
active task. All right, mark user. Okay. Okay. So what do you think uh, the path should be after notify user? Please try again. What do you think? Because uh, this one is my idea of the diagram, right? Um, it happen. I think. What is the content of notify to try again? I mean that I think we should like notify uh, the unit assist assistant or something. Hmm? Uh, assistant. Assistance. What do you mean assistance? Just uh, making mean, uh, display like display error message. Yeah, uh, I mean the display yeah. and there is a link guide or help helpers. Oh, okay. Um, Okay, so I would say that by, yeah. So you mean display information on how to do it properly, right? Yes, yes. You can, you can do that. Yeah, like display help screen or something like that. Okay, all right. So uh, after the help screen, what should happen next? Hmm. I think it's, uh, I think it's it's done. Verification unsuccessful. Verification unsuccessful. Yes. So then the user is not verified. So after displaying the help screen, uh Okay, so this is how you should do it properly, and then the application oh, sorry, ends. Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, repeat uh, to one step again. Yeah, that's true. So you have to go back to the previous step. Which <laughs> one do you think should be? That's true. It should be go. Should be going back. Take photo. Take photo. Okay, you can go back there. Uh, I would say it should go back to display camera, right? Because user takes photo means that the camera must be displayed first. The UI. Okay. Is this okay? It should be there. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How? <laughs> yeah, you, you need to drag it, uh, like precisely on the when the cursor turns vertical, not when the cursor turns uh, corner. If you want to, like that. wait, wait. Can okay. Don't worry. You you can you can uh, move the arrows. Uh, you can move the lines. But nah, you should make sure that they, uh, like the. Oh, nice canvas. No, no, not that. Not the point one. You need to make it so that uh, you have the vertical or horizontal line. This is yeah something like that. Okay. okay. So. See. So when you move your. Uh, mouse in the diagram, it can have like a point, yellow or uh, vertical horizontal bar. Okay. Okay. So that's nice. Now, <clears throat> uh, this is already a good diagram, but however, don't forget to save. <laughs> okay, you can save it now. Right, you can save it now. So actually, this is also a demonstration of why using a BPM in is useful because this is just a draft, but I would say, in my opinion, this is not yet correct, but then we can discuss, okay? Then we can discuss how this one should really work, okay? Okay. Uh, for one thing, uh, and I would say, I would argue that this is how we should uh, we should do the workflows, okay? Just by making sure that the overall uh, overall diagram we can agree with and then refine it uh, over time, okay? For example, variable compliance, then we have to uh, pass, right? Mm. So what do we mean by compliant? I would say that that should be a number, okay? Compliant will be a number, the, the API will be, 
giving a number from zero to one. One mm -hmm. means that the pose and everything matches exactly, and zero means that it's uh, it's 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 a bad photo. Okay, it's a bad photo. It doesn't match, and so on. So click on the arrow on the variable compliance. Okay, click on the arrow on the right side. No, no, no. Click on the arrow. Click on the arrow. Not, not that. Click on the line. Click on the line. Nah, that one. Okay, and open the properties there, or put a name in there. Okay, and then name would be like uh, greater than or equal to some number. You decide what number. One. Yeah, don't forget to put the greater than and equal sign. Uh, just just use the mathematical sign. Oh, what's possible? Yeah, just uh, put yeah angle bracket. Nah, greater than or equal to that will be less than the greater. One, no tolerance. That means 0 0.999 is rejected. Still the same? No, I mean, uh, are you sure that your criteria for approval is must be one? Because that means that even if the user is 99.999% matches, <laughs> that it will be rejected. So that's what I want to discuss. Hmm? I uh, see. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a little bit blur light, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's maybe around um, 0 0.8 above. Okay, you can do that. Of so course, we, we don't know yet uh, how the numbers will be, but that's like, uh, don't forget to put the greater than or equal. Zero point eight or one? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, let's say okay. zero point eight. And then for the and then there will be else, right? What if it's not greater than uh, or equal to zero point eight? So we click on the arrow uh, line below. Just click on it and make sure the hover is there. Uh, click no, 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 not name. You don't have to put name there. Put uh, yeah. click the range icon. Click the wrench icon. Click the wrench icon. Okay. The wrench icon. Wrench. Nah, that one. Okay. Default flow. Okay. So this is like the if else in programming uh, language, right? Okay. If the compliance is greater than 0 0.8, then that means it's for the verified and blah, blah, blah. But if not, then it goes down and go back again to the first one. All right, okay. So I would say that the next part will be, okay, so the first one is actually display camera with expected pose. Yes. Now, the question is where does the app know about the expected pose? Because it's not yet in the workflow diagram, right? Yes. Because, this is uh, on the fixed photo mm. compliance, right? Yeah, it's photo compliance. But before, okay. So imagine that the first one is that the app is displaying the UI, and then the app yes. tells the user, right? Okay, please take a photo with this pose. For okay. example, pose number nineteen. The question is how the app knows that the user needs to use post number 19 not post number 23 not post number 15 okay the id of the post where the app gets it it's because it's not yet in the diagram right you should not uh, i see so i think that we should create the uh, independent blocks maybe yeah that's true it's called a, a task actually each one is a task. Should we just create another this? No. No. The start. The start one is just one. 
but you can uh, create a task. In here? Before, right? Up to you. Where do you think it should be? Okay. Mm. Wait. But don't worry because everything in the diagram can be reordered, yeah? This, I would say that this is actually a collaborative process, yeah? Collaborative and cooperative process. We can discuss and move things around until we get to the, okay, I think we can agree in this. Okay. Is this? Yeah. Get expected post. I would say get expected post ID. So that would be like a number, right? So I'll do a number. Okay. And then, all right. So, hmm. Now, after get expected post ID, what will be done next? Because then that means there is a dependency, right? Between that task above, get expected post ID and the task directly below. Oh, display post on the camera. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's true. Okay, and then what happens next? It will be display joining in yeah. the camera. Yeah, that's true. So we go there. All right, that's good. But uh, in this case, I would say that it's not possible from the start display camera UI and then directly go to display camera with expected post because it's not yet done, right? The variable is not yet there. So that means mm -hmm. the arrow from display camera UI to the next one should not be there. No, not that one, the arrow on the right. Nah, that the, one. The left? Yes. Yeah. Because you say that display camera requires okay. the post, right? Okay, I would say this is a uh, a better uh, a better diagram, All right? But now my question would be on the display camera UI. What does what does it do? Is it necessary to be there? The first the first task. It's should we display the camera UI before showing the user of the needed post? No, I think no. So I would say that we can delete that one. Okay, that's good. Nice. And all right. So we can review. First one, the app needs to get the expected post ID and then display the selected post by ID. Okay, so user knows. And then display camera with expected post. Do you think that we should display the camera with the expected post or just the camera? Because we already displayed it before, right? I would mm. say. It. So what do you think? It should be like, when you imagine the phone screen, should the phone screen like display camera full okay, screen? Just only display cameras only. Okay, so if just camera, then with expected post, you can uh, remove that from the title. All right. Okay, this is very good. Now, uh, I think this is already a very good one. And let's make the tasks more detailed. Let's see, from the first one is get expected post ID. So, because uh, up to now, these are, these are just tasks without a type. So what do you think get expected post ID is? Is it a human task? Human needs to do something? Or is it a service task? That means it calls an API or something? 
This is service. This is service. Service task. Okay, so yes. click on that and click the wrench icon. The wrench icon again, yeah. And then change to service task. So that would be an API call, right? Call okay. an API and then it can be API, it can be worker, yeah. I would say the uh, uh, more recommended way uh, are workers, okay. Service, service task is our workers. And then display selected post by ID. Okay, is this a UI thing or uh, you human needs to do something? Uh, I think we can join it. Get a select post ID and display selected post by ID in the one task, mm. in the yeah. one service task. Technically, it can be done, but however, I would say that uh, to make it clear. I would say that it's better to have them as two separate tasks. Okay. Okay. Because uh, something might go wrong when get expected post ID. For example, the web service or microservice is error and so on. Okay. So the get and the display are different things. Okay. Now I would say that this one, display select post by ID, uh, we do not have to put any type in, in this. Okay, because that will be done by the application, not by Kamunda. Okay. okay. So it will be done in here, right? Uh, yeah, something like mm. that. Okay. And then display camera. I would say that display camera is also uh, a UI task. So mm. we don't have to explicitly model this. Now, how about user takes photo? What do you think it is? Is it a human task or is it yes. a? It is human task. Okay, human task. For now, we can mark that as human task. We can go to this and go to human user task. Yeah. Although it will it will be changed later, but for now, uh, just just go with it. Okay, then apps upload photo to AWS S3. Okay, uh, this will be done by the app, right? Yes. This will be done by the app. And then check photo compliance. Is this a service or a worker? Or it's a human Some task? It's a service. So let's mark this as service. And which one is worker? Okay. So micro uh, worker is also service here. Same, right? Yeah. From the from the perspective of Kamunda. Uh, they are the same. Okay. And then mark user as photo verified. Do you think mark user as photo verified is a service or a human task? Service. Service. Okay. So because there will be a worker that uh, connects to the database and maybe like doing update user, something like that. Okay. And notify mm -hmm. user. I would say notify user is a UI thing. And then it's done. And insert verification attempt in database. Is that the service? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that service. Okay. Now we can save this. And I would say this is already uh, a good PPMN workflow diagram. Yeah. Although we can change it later. Okay. So up to this point, do you have questions? This is already a good PPMN workflow diagram. And the final uh, one will be not so different than this one, actually. So uh, from this VPN, it is correct that now I can count uh, many to-do lists based on the it is service worker or not. Yeah, service I would say I would say so. So each of them would be a which will be a worker, and also the UI because the UI is not visible here, yeah? but that will be another to do uh, for the UI. Uh, and then my second question is: mm -hmm. uh, Is one blocks is like one jar, or we can joining all function into single jar? Okay, I would say it depends on scope because some uh, like in the FD they have like. DFT level zero, DFT level one, DFT levels two, and so on. 
Okay. So, kamu dia does not really care whether one task is a big task or a small task. Okay. What I would say is that it should be understandable uh, by humans, by the team members. Okay. And um, yeah, I would say it should be understandable and quite reasonable. For example, when you ask whether get expected post ID and display selected post by ID, I would say that these are two separate uh, separate tasks. It's because I think that get expected post ID is done by the server. Okay. And display selected post by ID is done by the user interface. Actually, one way to do this is that uh, you have groups and, and lanes because you are not using uh, pools here, right? But if you if you use a, a pool, maybe uh, try to do a group there. Try to use the group on the left. There is a this? on the left to bar below on the bottom, bottom right. That's called group. Okay. Try to make a group there. Now label the group server and then label the group mobile app UI. Okay, and make another group mobile app UI. Okay. Mobile. Okay, and make, make three groups, yeah. Server, mobile app UI, and user. So to make it clear who are doing these things, make another group, make another group. Okay, this group will be mobile app UI or, or just mobile app, yeah, just mobile app. This is the React Native app, yeah. Which one? This is one. Uh, mobile app, just uh, make, make the label first, mobile app. Mobile app. So I, I want to make this a discussion. Okay. And then another group is user. Another group is user. Okay. Okay. Now let's let's revisit again its its task. Yeah. Get expected post ID. Where does it happen? On the server? or on the user or on the mobile app? Mobile apps. I would say that's, that's on the server, yeah, get expected user because uh, the yeah, service yeah. itself, it's a, if you want to make it like on the mobile app user, uh, you, you can make it like too, but just to make it simple, uh, the server gives the post ID, okay? The processing, so you, uh, processing happens on the server. So I should I should withdraw. <laughs> no, no, not not withdraw. Just I mean relay I would, out. Yeah, relay out. Because I would okay. say that this is also what uh, what I'm doing when uh, I'm drawing. I would say that the PPM and diagram is a way to collaborate and make sketches, and it's it's a living document. Okay, it's a living document. So re, that's what I mean by refine. So we draw a rough. Uh, diagram and then change it and then change it to make it uh, to make it better yeah okay mm -hmm. so then how about display selected post by id is that done by the server or done by server. mobile app mm -hmm. server hmm? server no i would say it's done by the mobile app because the server has no ui right what because the, the server has no ui right the server yeah, yeah. has no UI. So the display selected post by ID is this done by the mobile app. Okay. So you mean that uh, it, will, it will take like uh, one page in UI? Um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm imagining. That's one page for oh, okay. giving, okay, this is the post. Okay. So in the, the mobile app now has two screens, right? One for the display like the post and the other screen for the camera. Okay, I will uh, fix uh, later. Okay. okay, let's understand what you mean. Okay. 
Okay. So, uh, you want to finish this meeting now? Uh, I have a question again. Okay. Uh, so based on this, uh, come on the basic um, diagram. Mm -hmm. So it like possible we can just like make a placeholder for the surface and test the mm -hmm. flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Possible? Yeah. That's uh, that's one way to do it. Uh, if for example, if you just want to, I want to get uh, the the main one done just to check photo compliance okay then okay. you can uh, make the others like uh, just flowing uh, directly without any source code and so on blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay okay yeah and uh, because it's a ppmn diagram you can change the flow at any time for example you can okay. also change whether it's uh, compliance uh, maybe 0 0.8 is too strict and then you want, oh maybe not 0 0.8 maybe 0 0.75 and so on and then you mm -hmm. change the other parts uh, for example it says mark user for photo verified in database okay so what if we send a uh, email notification to the admins what if we send a chat notification to the admins and so on we can we can do that in the ppmn diagram without changing the other uh service task yeah workers because okay. as you can see here uh the first one get expected post id is just a worker to just give the post id it does not care about uh processing the photo and so on right if okay. you think for just that microservice and another microservice is the check photo compliance all it does is that i have a photo and then check whether this matches the given post id right Okay. And then gives a output is just a compliance, which is a number from zero to one. It doesn't care what will happen with the number, whether the number is used to mark verification or so on. That single uh, task uh, has a job just checking the compliance value. And that's it. Okay. Okay. I understand. Okay. I think we can, uh, we can finish the meeting now. <laughs> okay okay by the way good listening thank you very much okay so i well because the time is running out so maybe we can discuss about the actual coding later or i can uh point some pointers in the in the chat later okay. yeah okay thank okay. you so now please go back to the meeting agenda and check this part oh don't forget to save yeah the ppmn go to the meeting agenda and okay. we can conclude can conclude so you can check uh, the review kamunda ppm and workflow diagram in the issues list but leave the other issues because they are not done yet okay and the no notion on the meeting agenda yeah okay so you can check the review kamunda ppm and workflow because it's done and leave okay. the others uh, unchecked so we can have some discussion next week okay okay so i think that there is a to do right there is a uh, to do implement the uh, service yeah implement the service no 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 i'll be doing finish maybe finish i uh, finish the diagram okay so to make it a more good layout there good layout and also try to implement one worker try to implement one work worker and experiment with simple ai okay. simple uh, simple ai simple AI. i think it should be like a different to do because uh, the learning curve one is a learning curve for making a Amuda worker and another is learning core for AI. That would be another different to do. And then there will be another to do would be for implement a worker with AI. <laughs> because that will be an integration of these two things. But okay, so just I think so, you should, mm. is this enough? Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, implement uh, implement uh, simple AI, yeah. Uh, the to do will be implement simple AI. Integrating it will be another. Yeah, okay. Okay. So thank you, and you can give rating 
for the meeting, this is the last one. You can give rating from one to ten. Rating for me? Rating for the meeting itself. Okay. Oh. So you think the meeting is is good or not good, and so on. Nine. Okay, I would say this meeting is a uh, eight. Okay, seventeen. Forty. Maybe. All right. Okay. Okay, finish. Okay, I would give an eight. Okay, thank you very much and please close the meeting. Okay, thank you Andy, thank you very much. Selamat berbuka puasa. Okay, you too. Okay, see you. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.